I need a retwist. I'm so bored and I feel like crap. <sighs> Got stuff all over my face. Do I want to cry? Maybe. Would that help? I don't even know. It doesn't even matter. Ugh. My hair looks like crap, so I'm gonna go do it. Mm. What's going on everybody? It's your girl Junior Spacey, aka Mar, here. Back with another tutorial video something. Oh, my hands are like super ashy, sorry. Um, But I figured I'd come on and show you guys how I do my brow routine. I've had a lot of requests on my other social medias to do my brow routine and here I am doing that for you. Yeah. It's a hard day. I woke up this morning with a bit of a migraine. I was feeling a little bit low. I'm not sure if that's just attributed to my ADHD, my autism, and having those low moments, but I do deal with depression. If you guys want to hear about how I've dealt with that, I have another video on my channel talking about that and coming closer to Christ whilst dealing with that. But today has been um, tough. It's almost 3 p.m. I'm kind of still in my room. I haven't been feeling like being very social. Played with my dog a little bit. I figured I'd come in and record, see how that makes me feel because I do enjoy making content for you guys. And like I said, it's how I get my brows to be so snatched like I do it. So hopefully this does something for someone let's go with that but yeah i haven't been feeling too good i can't necessarily say spiritually but i haven't been feeling too like joyful joyous yeah, 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 like happy-go-lucky kind of feeling today just waking up i haven't been feeling well i don't know if i'm coming down with something or it's just you know just spiritually i'm feeling a little bit low but the word of god that i have been meditating on that gives me a bit of hope with whatever i've been feeling has been isaiah 30 verse 18 yet the lord longs to be gracious to you therefore he will rise up to show you compassion for the lord is a god of justice blessed are all who wait for him and i'm taking that as i'm going through a season where things are a little bit tough for me but to stay faithful in the lord that he will bring me through all of it i just have to wait because it's a blessing to be awake it's a blessing to be alive it's a blessing to breathe it's a blessing to see the sky it's a blessing to come on here and talk to all of you and be silly and goofy and do all my makeup and do the little things that would make me feel better but the lord wants to show compassion he wants to show justice he wants to show all the good that he can do because he is good and i just have to sit and wait on that so let that be a word of encouragement to someone who needs it let's get into this brow tutorial oh cool. well all right then let's get this road on the show so first things first what i like to do is go in with this elf soap brow thing it's actually turned into one of my favorites because i like how it makes my brows look so what you want to do with it because it comes like this so what you want to do is you want to take your setting spray and you want to spray it so it gets nice and wet. And you're going to take your little spoolie thing, this little doodad doohickey, and we're just going to work it in here and get a bunch of the product onto our brush, kind of like here. And then go in and I sweep 
my brows up because I like them to look really fluffy. So I go ahead and I sweep these bad boys up. You see, I obviously don't have any, or, or like not the glamorous amount of brow. I'm just going to work with what I got. And it's not that much. I wanted to do this real fast for you guys to make it really easy. Uh, I've gotten questions on how to do my brows, especially on my Instagram page, which you should never forget to follow me on after you watch this video. Or just pause the video and go follow me. I have a bunch of other shenanigans on there too. If you hear construction outside, I don't know, there's just construction outside. So then, now that you got these brows nice and did this way, they're nice and brushed up, I then take this e.l.f. brow lift. Mine looks kind of crazy, um, so don't judge me. And then I take it with my finger and I kind of just sweep it on my brow just to get them to stay in place. I can't stand it whenever I'm doing my eyebrows or like throughout the day, my brow decides that it wants to start sliding down all over the place, like it's not cute. I just do that just to keep them in place with my finger. Some people just use it with the spoolie. But I take the spoolie and um, go over it just a whittle, okay? Cool, great, I'm glad we had this talk. You're done now, I'm just kidding. I've forgotten all the steps of what I have to do to get my brows this way, honestly. I just wing it. I just wing it. And I'm gonna take my e.l.f. cream contour palette. As you see, <laughs> she is mangled. I combine these two colors, one and two, just to kind of get a good underbrow shade. And this is different. I actually don't do it this way all the time, but sometimes I go back to this technique because it helps me to figure out how I'm gonna draw my shape of my brow. I take my little brush, a little flat, stiff brush, combine those two colors, and then I go underneath my brow here. And I start to, I start at the front and I start to draw a line. So the way that you figure out where your brow is, if you look straight, my goodness. For all the construction that you guys are doing out there, can you come in here and fix my life? No? Oh, the minute that I want to ask for my life to be fixed, you stop your construction, the hypocrisy. So the way that I find out where I want my brows to be, so I take my uh, the end of my brush here, and I start not at my nose bridge because that's where my brow naturally starts but I feel like I look better with my brows a little bit inward so I start like kind of in this area and lay my brush here so you see here that's where I'm going to start my brow then I kind of tilt it over my iris you see how it's crossing my eye and that is where this top part is where my eyebrow is my eyebrow arch is going to be and then I take it to the very end of my eye, like so, and that's the very end of where my eyebrow is going to end. So I just take some of my concealer to start mapping out, hello, get back and forth, focus, to start mapping out where I want my brow to kind of arch. And it gives me an understanding of where I want it to be. I'm looking directly in the camera and not the mirror. And uh, it looks a little bit wild. Let me look in the mirror. That, that'll probably work, right? As you see, that's kind of where I want my brow to be. Just like so. This is my guide. Some people do it this way, other people don't do it this way. I've learned that doing my brows by guiding my concealer where I want to cut first allows me to figure out how I'm going to draw them on because they're fake. <laughs> Nothing is real. I'm sorry. And just trace that out. 
like so. And as you see, you know, I still have some hairs on the bottom, but that's fine. I don't normally shave my eyebrows because there's not much to shave. So I kind of just pat that concealer color at the bottom there to get a nice sharp line. Some people like to drag that color down. Today I'm going to. Why not? Why not just do it for the vine? This will help your eyebrows to have a really sharp shape. Then I'll take this fluffy brush. Take this fluffy brush and I will start to kind of pat those harsh edges underneath because, you know, we just wanted a guide. Now that we have that guide, we don't really need that anymore. So just kind of smooth out those weird edges underneath. And don't worry if it looks a little rough, it's fine. But as you see, it has a very defined arch so far. I then take my LA Girl Brow Pomade, and this is in the color Dark Brown. She is almost done and mangled. <laughs> Stop fixing people's houses. Thank you. Gonna take my little mini angled brush here. I dip it in on both sides to make sure that my brush is nice and sharp. And then it is a feat, F-E-A-T. It is a feat to be able to talk and do one's brows. I have not mastered this yet. So if I start speaking in gibberish, forgive me. So basically, let me move in a little bit closer, get real personal with y'all. Basically what I'll do is I'll use that line that we drew as a guide and start drawing, starting from the very bottom of that eyebrow, eyebrow, all the way to the very end of where we ended that line. See where I started? This is where I wanted to start my brow. This is my arch, right? Start of brow, arch, end of brow. Once we've gotten that guide down from where we first started, we're just going to start feathering that shape in and get that nice sharp point at the very end of the brow. Sometimes I'll go in where I've messed up, which I've already, and just quickly clean with whatever was left over on my brush. There you go. It might not look straight, but <sighs> nobody's perfect. Then with the same brow pomade, I like to just then take whatever's left on my brush and then just feather in those bald spots because my brows are very bald headed, okay? Some people do like the whole thing, they, they carve out the brow. That's very 2014 to 2016. We're not there anymore, at least me personally. There's nothing wrong with it. I just like a little bit more of a natural looking brow where she doesn't look um, starved to death. Whatever is left of my brow, and I start feathering, feathering in until I get that completed, completed shape. And the reason that I do this is not is because I don't normally go in over my brow like with, you know, some people do the foundation over the brow. I think that's a bit redundant. I don't ever really want to do that because your girl is lazy. She's a lazy girl. I'm not going to do that. Okay. I'm not going to do that. So I'm just going to um, take what I got and uh, leave what I don't. And you see that that brow shape is starting to come together. And I know that in the front of my brow, this is where I, my brow naturally stops right here, but I will turn my brush at a kind of vertical angle like this, and then I will kind of mark little feather-like strokes going upwards, like so, okay? So you see how I did it this way, where I kind of feathered it in like so, but wait, there's more. I'm gonna take this NYX Lift and Snatch pen here, which hopefully you can see, maybe not. There you go. This NYX Lift and Snatch, man, that was really hard to say, in the color Espresso. And the thing that I love about this is the fact that it has this really tiny, thin felt tip. And it also, it also leaks. It's not 
the best design. NYX, if you see this video, please fix this problem for me. I take this and I start doing hair-like strokes at the very beginning of my eye, like so. Sometimes I gotta shake it, and you can also like pump it into the cap to dispense more Oh, that was good French. Basically product. And um, go in between your brows that are missing some hair like mine. And I kind of just continue to feather where there is missing brow stuff. Right. Ta-da! And there you have it. A brow thing. You have a, a nice, sharp, curved, happy brow that you can feel happy with. There's this guy here, and then there's her. <laughs> this one out here that is living in the school of hard knocks, and this one where she is living the soft life. So I want two soft life brows. Soft life, hard knocks. Which one do you like? I personally like soft life, but I'm going to change hard knocks into soft life. This one right here, this whole brow story is giving pretty woman. <laughs> so I'm gonna go fix it and be back on camera. Yeah. Well then, guys, this is the completed, the completed brow look. It's what I do on my everyday. My brows kind of change as the seasons in my life changes, I guess. This is what I have. This is more in depth. If you guys want more tutorials on how I do certain things, please feel free to put them down in the comments. Yeah, I'm hoping that my day gets a little bit better, but by God's grace it will. I have Bible study later tonight, and um, I love being at Bible study because I get to fellowship with my pastors and my brothers and sisters in Christ. So. You know, it's a little pick-me-up, especially since I wasn't feeling too well this morning. Yeah, here's my brow routine. Hopefully y'all dig it. Hopefully this is everybody or somebody's cup of tea who watches this. Stay in God's word. Read his word. That is the most important thing. Build a relationship and fellowship with God. Period. And if no one told you today or at any point in time, I love you. Bye.